So guys, for the second time, someone has stolen my red bucket. You know, I'm a man that likes buckets. And when someone steals my red bucket, we have a problem, okay? And you know, you guys might remember a while back, over a year ago, someone did this before while they actually logged into my account, logged me out, traded over my bucket, all that stuff. Um, I was able to go and get it back due to a rollback, which is the same process I am going through right now. Um, so don't worry about it, guys. I'm trying to handle the situation. Basically, though, the way it got hacked was a bit weirder than the last time because I was like on my homepage right here or whatever, currently looking at my screen or whatever, like watching like some YouTube on my phone or something like that. And I get five messages and normally I never get messages. So I was like, OK, what's this all about? And it says your trade is complete. And knowing me, I don't trade anything because it's just, I just have my bucket collection or at least had my bucket collection. Um, so you know, you know, I'm like, okay, okay. I'll go to my trade page and I see that I have five trades completed with just a random user. So I check this one and I'm like, first of all, I never owned these three items. I never owned two clockwork headphones or a Valkyrie helm, or at least this one in particular, but I'm like, First of all, why would I accept a trade this bad? I mean, Gucci must be in style, guys, apparently. But um, so I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I go on over to the trade part, go on over to my purchases. And the person basically on the 23rd went through and purchased all of these items from the Clockwork Headphones up, as well as took like my 5,000 Robux from my Roblox group, but that wasn't really my, the worst thing happening. But he spent all this Robux and he then went over and actually traded it all back to your random accounts. And I was able to go and actually just kind of follow it because you're able to track some of the item numbers. So I just wanted to like roll them on and just followed it. So they're on like different accounts now and everything after being passed through like three separate ones. But yeah, so this was the first trade they did after buying those few items. Um, this was the next trade they did where they traded one item over to get the rest of my, well, the other majority of my items at least. Over here, they traded another item back to me but to get more of my other items. Here, they traded over another commander to get my other items. Then finally, they traded over the Gucci bag to get my last few remaining items. And they basically emptied out my entire account besides for the Gucci bag that, of course, they just left on the account because that's what they traded over. But um, yeah, then again, like I said, I'm going, to, I'm going through the process of getting a rollback on my account. Hopefully it goes through, uh, if not, that's gonna suck guys, but uh, I said I kind of want to go through the process of like how you guys can go and protect your accounts a, a lot more And just make sure you're protecting it to the best of your abilities So guys, I am in on my alt account. Hey guys Viper here just so I can go and show you how to basically Set up every single security feature available through Roblox and just so you guys can keep your accounts secure and everything like that Now I know I am uh, my my webcam is kind of covering the icon But in the top right there's a gear icon So click on that bad boy click on settings and it should bring you to the my settings page I'm pretty sure all you guys know about this at least. I really hope so. Um, but immediately when you create a new account or you have an older account and you wanna add this stuff to you, make sure you have a phone number and an email address because this allows you to recover your password whether you just forgot it or your account gets hacked and you just need to really just reset the password just so they're out of your account and everything like that. So immediately make sure you have both of these verified. And I'm pretty sure if you don't have an email address verified yourself, then you're not gonna be able to do the rest of the security options, which I highly recommend doing, guys. Next is in the security tab, which is the whole two-step verification system, which as of right now on this account only, I have it on the email code, which basically sends you a code to your email address. So you can go put that code in whenever you log into a new device or anything like that. However, that's not the best one you could use. I really recommend using the Authenticator app because this one is only through your phone. You cannot get it through an email address. It's only in the Authenticator app, which I'll put up a screen, well, a picture on screen right now of what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if it's on like iPad devices or iPod devices, anything like that. Um, feel free to comment down below if it is. Uh, I know it's on Android devices at least, but basically you'll go install it. Make sure you do have your email address verified because you will not be able to do these options. If so, you'll go turn this on, then it'll have you go through the process of setting it up and everything like that through the app. But then every time you log into a new device, you'll have to go open up the Authenticator app, which has a code that resets every 60 seconds for you to go and input into it. And that's basically it. The only other thing I would recommend doing is going to the parental controls and making sure you have a pin available. Please make sure it's not your date of birth, like if, or one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one. 
Yeah, someone can easily go and log into your account and say, hey, this is a birthday. He's born in 1929. Let's try that for the pin number and guess it correctly. So please make sure it's either something random or something unique to you, not your date of birth, please, guys. But um, yeah, I guess that is everything you really need to know about the account security. Um, just the best one to do is just make sure you're on the Authenticator app. That's the safest one, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I just want to make sure you guys do how to activate all those options and everything like that. Um, how to keep your accounts safe and secure. Um, hopefully, I do get my account a rollback and everything like that. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on when that comes out. I'll probably make a video on it or so. But um, yeah, I guess that's going to be it. I wanted to keep this video short and simple. And I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Stay safe out there.